Test. Hi, you know me. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com. And I'm always off on another little adventure. Who are you coming to see? And it looks like we got some company, so we'll add the horses in there. Actually, just scared the hell out of me because he come running up behind me. Up around Laramie Peak, Wyoming, on some private land here, family. And uh, today I'm going to decide who wins one of the knives I'm giving away. So how am I going to do it? Well, very unconventional method. I've got a 9mm carbine rifle uh, that I'm going to shoot 100 good big steps, 100 yards, I hope, at a target. And I've written six names on there around the target in the circles. I'm only going to shoot once and let's see where the bullet lands and whatever section of the target the bullet lands in. The names are on there twice because the circles are split in half so each circle graduating out from the center point has two half circles. So the very center which is one inch I took that guy's name and put it out in the outer circles so he has two chances because if I just get one shot at a hundred yards <laughs> I hate to say it but there's lower chance that the guy in the center is going to win so I put his name on there twice so let's go up and uh, set up the camera at the target and uh, you know get that zeroed in and get started and see who wins the knife. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Goofy things I do. I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Let's see how friendly he is. He's never been ridden, halter, broke, or anything. And at two years old, they can be pretty damn nasty. Hey, buddy. Huh? Yeah, huh? How you doing? That's why I'm turning sideways to him. And you got to be a little careful because I see he is a stud. This son of a bitch kill you in a heartbeat he takes a notion to. They bite and strike with them front feet and kick. And they get you down they'll stomp you to death. <laughs> this Brad take care. I got to get set up for my shoot. Don't turn your back on him too long. They get a wild hair up their ass. You won't have the hair left on your ass. Right in the center of the camera, that's the target for now. And how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use my nine millimeter carbine semi-automatic rifle. I get to fire one shot at the targets a hundred yards away and uh, we'll see how it goes. I am going to fire one shot at a other target, walk up there and see how you know where I hit and then I get to fire one shot at the target where the names are. So let's go ahead and fire the first shot, see where it uh, lands and then I'm going to adjust uh, myself, not the sights, not the scope. And let's see, is my sandbag here. And let's see what I'm seeing through the video here. That looks a little bit better. We fire one at the test target and then we fire for real. And we got some weather coming in. It's actually starting to snow. I'm at about 6,000, 6,300 foot level. Earlier in the day it was a lot nicer. I had things to do. Now I decide to come and do this. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go.
and the wind is blowing my test around just a little bit. All right, we'll go up and see where the test shot hit. We'll kind of hurry because I'm not going to shut the camera off. There's one of the old skidders used to move the logs and stuff with. Yeah, we got to go through the stickers. And I didn't put my other boots on today. Well, this is not cool. Gun seems to be off a little bit. I don't see a hole in the test target. All right, I'm gonna go back and do it again. Let's see if I can't shoot my camera off the tripod. Okay, it's recording, and I don't need it back there where I am, and I hope it's still recording my voice. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Test, one, two, three, test. Hopefully it's still working. I paid $200 for these mics, actually the mic, and the uh, receiver that goes on the camera. So I'm gonna talk a little bit here. It's a good way to test, see how far the range is on a clear line of sight. I can't believe that in the last setting that something changed that much. Took my gun with me this time. If there isn't a hole in it, I'm gonna have to shoot it from about 50 yards, see where it hit, and adjust my scope from there. Although I did take my 22 out of the scabbard the other day. The scope was completely off the gun. Yeah. Oh. Low and to the right. Some of that can be shooter hair. I'm going to adjust my scope just a little bit. I'm going to raise it up a little. Ten clicks up, quarter of an inch per click, half, I gotta go up a long ways. That's an inch.
Okay, we'll leave it at that. Operator air can come in. And we gotta go four inches to the left. If I can hold it steady enough to actually hit where I'm adjusting the scope to. So, okay, left is to the right. Okay. It is hunting season. I probably ought to have orange on, even though I'm right about in the middle of a private 80 acres. We're just looking for a rock to shoot at from here to see how it would hit instead of going all the way back before I shoot again. I guess I'll just go all the way back and do it again. This Brad. Hi. <laughs> if nothing else, I get some exercise. A hundred yards there, a hundred yards back, a hundred yards there, a hundred yards back. <laughs> Had quite a deal just a little while ago. Went to throw a big limb out of the road. Grabbed it by the butt, grabbed a little limb on the side. Went to give it a heave and a throw. The little limb broke off and I jabbed myself right in the face with the little limb that broke off. And I said, oh darn. Yeah, right. Of course, now I'm breathing a little hard. So, we're gonna give just a minute before I shoot. Give at least a little chance for me to. Well, and it kind of quit snowing. Still cold. Not too cold. Probably 40. 10 mile, yeah, probably about eight mile an hour wind. Not too bad that way. Okay. Time to see how things go. And the wind is blowing my target around. Gotta wait a minute. fire two this time and see if I can get a group and get what's going on here. All right. Let's walk up there and take a look. By the time I get there this time, that'll be about 500 yards. <laughs> walking. Half jogging, hurrying a little, fast walking a little bit. Uh, get up here and see what I've done. Okay, I can see one In line left and right. Yeah, I raised it all right. <laughs> uh, four inches above the target. Could be some of that as operator error, of course. The other one missed completely. All right, let's hurry back and do it. This time, maybe from 50 yards. I 
I really hate to do this, but the time on the card is relevant. So I'm going to shut the video off, go back, fire it, and then turn it back on. Forgive me for this. I never cheat or lie on my videos, and I won't this time either. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. I fired eight rounds. And as you can see, my target does not want to stand still. Now I'm shooting more to the left because I'm sure I missed over here because three of them are within two inches. That's acceptable at 100 yards. I kind of wish I was shooting a bolt action because the bottom of the rifle would be completely smooth. I've got to deal with the magazine sticking out the bottom. So I see I do have a little bit of a group there. Now I'm going to bring it back to the right and down. I took it up way too far from the first one. Then it was about here. Now I got to take it down just a little bit, move over, and this time I might shoot it from 50 yards and then move out to 100 yards again. I got to make this as fair as possible when I shoot that target. So what am I talking about on the target? Well, give me just a second. Yeah, the video's gonna look goofy all over. Ow, stickers, SOB. Mm. Uh, gonna be all over the place, but I don't know how else to do this and try to keep it as real as possible as far as what you're seeing. Me turning off the camera, on the camera, all that stuff. I don't like that either. I know you don't. You study that just a little bit and you're going to see some names on there. Gamma Ray Burst, Sergeant Sniper Seaman, Thomas P for Life. I moved him up and put him here. That's twice he's on there. Frank Gampa, Gamma Ray Burst again. Trevor C, Frank Gamma, Trevor C, Sergeant Sniper Seaman, Two Wheel Delinquent, and Two Wheel Delinquent, Delinquent. So you see, I am putting them on there, put them on twice, spread them around. Everybody pretty much gets an equal chance. So let me set the camera back up over here. I'm going to put it closer because I am shooting at least good enough that I probably won't shoot my camera. Wouldn't that suck? But that'd be alive right here. We are doing it. <laughs> and you'd get to see some action. Okay, I'm going to hurry this time. Ah, damn wind is messing with me. Let's see if that's any better. Here we go. Kind of running through a swampy area here. We call it truck draw because for 50 years there was old trucks being stored in this draw. 
in Wyoming things don't rust you can leave them there for a hundred years damn near no change makes it kind of neat and the fire came through truck over anymore like it used to hundred yards apart keeps it fun winds blowing makes it even harder to hit my target and due to the fact I don't like this gun out and shoot it a lot bring it down And to the right. Well, I hope you can still hear me. I have no idea. I've never worked with my remote mic this far out. I guess there's a chance to make this really fair. I'm going to have to move up to a 50 yard line to do this with a 9 millimeter. It's not a heavy bullet. The wind definitely has something to say about it. And let's stick some more in. I got a thousand rounds of ammunition. We got lots of lots of ammo. <coughs> I'm not going to shoot at that target with the names on it until I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to give a really fair chance at what's going on here for the people to win. We're going to actually hit the center at a hundred yards with no more bench rest I've got here. Okay, magazine is in. Rounded. See what we got. Test, one, two, three, test, 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 hello. If it's not working back here, everything I've been saying is gone. So I'm going to talk all the way up here, and you'll be able to see about when my voice comes through. If you can hear it the whole time, you're going to go, oh my God, talk, talk, talk. <laughs> yeah, anyways, you know what? The little bit of storm, the little bit of cold snow, has kind of passed. It is warming up, getting slightly better. That's good. And uh, we'll just see how things are turning out here. I get through the grass, through the little bit of swampy area, getting closer, 30 feet away. Stickers. I didn't put my boots on. So I'll have stickers in my socks. Okay, we do have a pattern. Down here. I'm gonna move up a little closer. 
because with the wind, me not having the rest like I'd like to, I don't think it's going to work out well. I do have a tight enough pattern I can keep it within the target. That's not too bad. I am still shooting to the left. That could be me uh, jerking or pulling a little to the left. That particular gun has one hell of a trigger poundage pull. Uh, way more than I'd like it to have, which keeps you from being accurate. So let me move up a little bit and let's see if we can get a tighter group. And Of course, maybe we don't want an exact tight group because then the people in the center have more of a chance of winning. You know what? I'm going to take a shot this time at the target, the real target. So I'm going to move the camera. Not quite in line. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. Okay. Okay, guys, good luck. Here we go. This one's for real. So I don't trip and fall down and kill myself on the way back. Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. Off on another goofy little mission. Hopefully, the uh, wireless mic is doing its job. Hopefully the transmitter's doing its job and the receiver's doing its job. And I'm just about to see if I can't do my job. And right about now you're probably saying, Brad, this video is just getting too long. Well, I'm sure sorry, but when you're alone, which I am 90% of the time, this is how it's got to be done. So, this time I'm shooting at the target for real and let's see who wins the knife and that would be the video sharpest axe cuts tree in half or something like that okay let's see what we can do Hopefully I don't shoot my camera. Oh. Got to back up on the breathing here for just a minute. Or I might not even hit the target. If you're off about a 32nd of an inch back here in 100 yards, you're probably off five inches. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's a hundred yards. I didn't move up. I say that's a hundred yards. I didn't move up. Hang on a sec. gun up in the air make sure the safety's on I don't think anybody will come pull the trigger but God only knows and I don't want it pointed at me downrange block that's for damn sure so we'll jog a little bit this time because if I shoot anymore it's just gonna be for fun another hundred yards 
and I actually seen something fly when I hit. I have no idea what that would have been. So I guess we'll find that out. And I hope there's a hole in the target. Oh yes there is. Oh my god, oh I'm <laughs> I only missed the center by about two inches low, inch to the left. And who's oh sergeant Sergeant Sniper Seaman. You are the winner of my little knife I'm giving away. And you know what? I'll give something else away. I'll give away one of my rectangular sharpeners. Let's see if we're still recording or if we ran out. Nope, we're still recording. Okay. So Sergeant, 